everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is Michael Jameson and today we are reviewing Buddha Water. We're reviewing three flavours. Big thank you to the guys over at Buddha Water who are distributed I believe and all owned by Your Tonic. I got in contact with them after seeing these promoted on Talking Retail. It's one of the kind of food news websites that I use. The brand looks amazing, really good, all the different colours on the cans. Like his, I'm going to do two separate videos. So in this first video I'm going to do the original just the normal one. Uh, what I thought would probably be my least favourite, the lemon and lime, and what I thought would probably be my favourite, which is the cherry, and then that leaves for video number two, a really interesting, interesting one, hibiscus. No kind of, I've had no, no experience with his hibiscus. I've had no experience with hibiscus whatsoever. We've got mango and cranberry. So as I say, I'm loving the branding on the, all these. That's what initially drew me to them and, and reached out, and they were happy to provide them. So, what is Buddha Water? Got my sheet. Buddha Water is a range of lightly sparkling premium soft drinks with a difference. Each can contains pure organic birch sap tapped from the trees. They're tapped from trees in the fresh forests of Finland with six refreshing flavors. Which karma will you choose? So, it's got, yeah, Birch sap in, which is just, it sounds really weird to me. This is kind of a, a lower sugar, uh, slightly healthier alternative to like a normal soft drink. So they come in these uh, these 250ml cans. I'm not sure how much they are, unfortunately. And I, I'm not certain where you can get them because I haven't seen them out yet. I believe they're kind of a brand new product to, uh, to the UK. Oh, wow, that's really weird and interesting. Hashtag preview flavour. Mmm. Right, let's go in for it. This is, as I say, this is the original one. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. That reminds me of something. That definitely reminds me of something. It's actually bloody nice. I, I, um, I want to point something out as well. Because you might think, ah, they've sent you them. Of course you're going to give it a good review. We're always 100% honest. Uh, we had a, we had a relationship with, <laughs> I say had, um, <laughs> no, we have a relationship with Tasting. They've sent us products in the past, um, but I gave one of their products one star the other day, so that is just proof of our honesty. Man, this is really nice. It's, um, it's got quite a light flavour in. Being the original flavour, it's kind of uh, like a soda water, but also it's got this taste in there, which I guess must be the, um, the birch sap, I guess. Oh, it's got a little bit of grape, grape and um, natural apple flavouring in this as well, so that might be slightly what I'm picking up on, but actually now that I've read that, yeah. But it's still, it's like a uh, nice candy, um, fruity, lightly, kind of almost foreign tasting. I know that's not quite sensible, but oh yeah, you always like it when I pour it out, don't you? Just going to pour a little bit out. So this one's quite a clear, pale kind of grape. Mmm, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. I'd give that a low... No, it's not quite four territory. I'd give it a very high three stars. Next up, I'm going to... Next up, I'm going to go lemon and lime. Oh, wow. Immediately, much stronger smell. This uh, has a kind of... Still a little bit of smell of the kind of unique odd smell. This is no... This, this is maybe slightly yellower, slightly greener colour, but still quite clear. Wow, I really like the uh, the amount of flavouring in it. It's not like full on punch you in the mouth flavouring. It's like quite a mellow flavouring. This, the lemon and lime isn't actually too strong in it. It's a bit of a back note. Mm. Really nice carbonation as well, quite light and just a gentle kind of foaminess rather than any kind of sharp attacking bubble. It's almost like a citrusy apple, but that's quite nice as well actually. I give that one three stars. Right, last up in this video, we've got cherry. The information that I've got said that this one is for flavour lovers and really packs a punch, so this might be. Oh, wow! That's like, a, that's like this is going to sound odd again, but uh, it's like woodland cherry is what I would call that one. What are we dealing with in terms of colour? Very similar, kind of off-white, pale. Yeah, so no, no artificial colours or anything like that. It, yeah, hashtag preview flavour because a little bit went in my mouth. That smell is so unique. That's like, that's like cherry, cherry barbecue chips. Um, 
And that sounds really odd. And I can actually taste what I've just tasted now on the hashtag preview play. Here we go. That is so unique. It, easily the best one, obviously. I kind of as I as I anticipated. It's almost like cherry whiskey or like a slight smoky um, feel. And like a real depth of flavour in the mouth. This is going to sound really, really weird, but um, it's the same. It's the same meaty quality that you get from eating meat. It's just really rich in the mouth. Um, yeah, that's that is one of the that no, not one of them, that that is the most unique cherry drink I've ever had. This is not like cherry aid. This is like a really nice natural cherry flavour, deep, rich drink. I give it a four stars. Yeah, birch sap, concentrate. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it just says natural flavouring as the last ingredient. Really unique. That one. If, if you're going to try any, try that cherry one, because that is really unique. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Please tune in to part two, where we'll be looking at the hibiscus, the mango, and the cranberry. Let me know if you've seen this product in the comments below, because I'm sure the other fans of Food Review UK would love to hear where you can get it. And subscribe for more videos. Ha cha chi. Oh, my hair looks absolutely ridiculous. Like, this thumbnail's just going to look absurd. I'm going to put a flip-flop on my head or something just to make it look better. No, it doesn't look better.